Building a strong data-driven organization. Why companies are not there yet. Suppose you show a stack of bricks to bricklayers and ask them to build a skyscraper. They won't get that far. Yet, that's what many business managers expect their data analysts to do with data. You need a few more skills to set up the foundation for a data-driven organization. A recent HBR article titled, Why You're Not Getting Value from Your Data Science, talks to a few other reasons. Here, I'll share an organizational framework to help. As an example, take a legacy company that has over the years collected and continues to collect data. The company is siloed by products because that's the way companies were organized back then. It made sense at the time. Now, however, the structure is not working. Customers are not just interfacing with one part of the company. They purchase multiple products, have multiple interactions across multiple channels, and expect the company to know them well and cater to their unique needs. The only way to achieve data integrity to serve customers well is to connect siloed data. So what should this company do? First, there are already a few good data analysts in their respective functional areas. Collectively, they have deep database skills, thorough understanding of how data is organized, and understand the business domain well. They use tools to visualize the siloed data and create charts and plots to show trends to management who can then make decisions on this. Siloed analysis is useful, but not good enough. To get a better view across these areas, we need more data experts who can look across multiple areas and logically consolidate all that data so more value can be derived from them collectively. This calls for a different set of skills, such as the ability to explore data, transform, cross-correlate, merge, and interpret the data. Experts who help to integrate the data are typically data scientists. Data integration is useful, but not good enough. Today, companies need to be data-driven to be competitive in the marketplace. Data-driven means exploiting data to make business decisions and provide great customer experiences. If over time, you notice that most of the time a customer buys active men products, you may infer that this customer is a young adult. All your interactions with this customer should adapt to that knowledge. While data scientists have deep data knowledge and know how to manipulate it, today we expect more. The discipline of machine learning can be used for predictive analytics and infer something more from the data. In other words, we move from computation to prediction. We should be able to anticipate something before it happens and be ready to respond. This calls for a different set of skills, such as the ability to understand data, to build models that represent the data, and to develop and fine tune algorithms that learn from the data. Experts who do this to help machines learn from the data are the machine learning engineers. While learning is useful, it's not good enough. Machine learning engineers focus on the mechanics of the models and the algorithms and are often tasked with solving specific problems, looking for specific patterns, and rightly so. They have to work closely with the data scientists. However, they do not have the time to interact with the business people. Therefore, they do not necessarily understand the full business context or the reasons behind the business questions. Business executives have a lot of questions they seek answers to. Answers that could be provided by the data. However, these questions come at a fast rate and they do not know how to frame the questions to enable the data to provide the answers. Often, they try to interact directly with the machine learning engineers or the data scientists and get frustrated since they don't get the answers. There's a gap that can be filled by artificial intelligence architects who understand the business language and context and who can have an extended conversation with machine learning engineers and data scientists. There's even a case to be made for a chief AI officer as shared in an HBR article. Executives seek answers from data. The engineers and scientists may be working on many overlapping projects. Sometimes a single business question may require the consolidation of answers across many projects, and sometimes a single project may answer many questions. The AI architect's role includes designing the work to be optimal, framing the business problems for a data-driven execution, and interpreting the results for the business to enable better decisions. 
Think about these different parts as you develop your organization's enterprise data strategy. Thanks for watching.